Good morning. I don't even know what time it is, probably something like six o'clock. And we woke up naturally and we just drank our coffee slash tea. Going to make it to Lake Morina, which is about seven and a half to eight miles. We've got a downhill to a, um, what's that springs called? Do what? What is the water source called? Hauser Creek. Hauser Creek. We're gonna go to Hauser Creek and then supposedly out of Hauser Creek, that's supposed to be quite a climb. And then we'll go to um, Lake Marina. My ankle that I rolled yesterday, so that was not like a normal roll, you know? Normally you roll it, it hurts, and then it's like, okay. I rolled my ankle yesterday, it had a cracking sound. I don't think that like anything is broken, but I definitely uh, stretched and like bruised or injured some of the ligaments because, you know, it does hurt. I, it's some, I can walk for sure, but it's like, it's swollen and um, it's hard like to move it like sideways or something like that, like that. I mean, it's not like painful like I'm going to die, <laughs> but it is, you know, just, it's painful and it shouldn't be like that because it's your foot. So anyway, slowly packing up because at Lake Marina there is a malt shop that has breakfast until 11. We're gonna see if we can get there, but we're not gonna rush because of my ankle. And then if not, then we'll have uh, like lunch or, and hang out there for a while. Okay, let's get going. Goodbye, Spot. for one of our well one of chap's friends he'll I'm be saying, your friends i'm saying ours one of chap friends he actually has a channel which is called hammer hikes hammer hikes hammer hikes i think it's hammer hikes no space because there's another hammer space hikes oh so but it's hammer hikes i think his is hammer hikes no space no space <laughs> So we just came from here and then there's the option to go this way, but somebody rode PCT this way. But most importantly, there is this emergency button, just in case, you know, somebody needs a button. And then I'm sure these people, they will come up here. It's actually a good spot to have it for the, you know, whoever is gonna come and rescue people. So yeah, it's pretty neat, a little emergency beacon. It looks like you're a Disney, like the Animal Kingdom. They put these trees up, but these are real. So pretty. Right, we're at Hauser Creek, getting some water so that we can climb up this here hill right there. I think it's about a mile and a half of uphill by itself. And then we have probably around four, four and a half to five miles left to uh, Lake Marina. We just came from there. As you can see, a bunch of people talking. We passed two, we passed a bunch of people, but we passed those ladies just a second ago. It's a really nice spot, and then there's a really great campsite right here if anybody wanted to be there. We have about 3.2 miles probably to Lake Marina. I think we got the majority of the climb done, which is nice. 
and it was not too shabby. That's probably Marina Reservoir. First impression of the PCT is that, you know, people, they say we're going to be in the desert. And when people say desert, people think it's like flat. And I knew it wasn't going to be flat. But when you watch other people's PCT videos, you see all the stuff. It just looks like you're in the, on the ground. No, you're in the middle of a mountain. So definitely a mountainous hike. And the AT is actually pretty good preparation for this here trail because that climb up from Hauser Creek was not too bad. I mean, it was, I can see how it would be hard for a lot of people. So it was, I mean, we got to sweating, but nothing compared to some of the AT stuff at this point. I know it's only day two, but yeah, first impression. Just for reference, uh, we were just now, or I have, right now, I'm at 3,300 feet of elevation, which is, I don't know, higher than Florida. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we are definitely in the mountains. Somehow I thought that, I always thought when watching the videos that the oak mall shop is right on trail. Of course not. I don't know why I would think that. Biscuits and gravy, yeah. Here's Chap giving um, shoe advice. <laughs> and we're off. If I look crazy, it's because I have some lotion on there. So we just stayed at this place probably around 10, 11, two and a half, three hours. Hold on, just two hours. I was kind of like, wow, three hours, not possible. So now we are planning to hike another six and a half miles to a campground. Um, there are some limited permission of camping once you get to a certain area. So we're gonna go to a campground and apparently it's free for the hikers. Um, I gave my camp shoes to another hiker. Her name is Whitney. I'm gonna say bye to these for two days because Whitney has some feet issues, right? What happened? Blisters. Blisters. So we're gonna try those out, see how they feel. Too small. And then we'll get some Shoes? She's got a lot of blisters. She did, um, you know, she has some different shoes. I guess they're maybe too small and she has blisters everywhere. And so hopefully the Tevas will take care of just making that more comfortable. And 
I told her she can have them until we get to Mount Laguna, which today is Wednesday, so Mount Laguna is going to be on Friday. Um, but we'll see how she feels for the next six and a half miles. We should see her at that campground too. And then I gave another girl, her name is Christina, I think, or Christine, and uh, gave her some Luco tape because she put Luco tape on some wax paper, but she can't get it off. So I kind of was asking her, did you put it on the wrong side of the wax paper? Maybe she just, she's like, maybe just bought weird wax paper. So I gave her some Luco tape. So it's pretty cool and rewarding to be able to share some of your own experience to new hikers. Um, we try to do it without, you know, imposing our knowledge, but they seem, most of them seem pretty receptive to it. So exciting. And we have to walk back this blue blaze to trail. We have about four miles to the campground. Getting hot again. A little update on my ankle. Feels okay right now. This morning it was kind of painful. And then once my ligaments and muscles, I guess, warmed up, seems to be fine. I'm sure it will ache again tomorrow morning, but um, it seems to do okay. Which I'm very thankful for. I was actually gonna say how how cool human bodies are, right? Because as soon as I hurt my ankle, it started getting all swollen up. And that's like a natural splint, isn't that cool? Like bodies are so amazing. <laughs> like it immediately was like, oh splint! You know? Or a wrap, I don't know what. Like wrap it up. Okay. Somebody, this is Whitney laughing at me vlogging. Can I interview you later? Yeah. We'll do a camp interview later. And there's the vlogger vlogging the vlogger vlogging. <laughs> Hashtag creator. This is so beautiful. It makes me just want to like frolic in the meadow. With a little baby deer. And right here we've got a bridge. Like a bridge. Some stones. I guess some people could sleep here. This would be a good spot to sleep at. Huh? Well, it's our first potential river crossing. We'll have a look around to see if there's another option. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We probably won't have to get our feet wet. Nice. Okay. Okay, I stole my, I stole my sandals and I'm using my sandals. That's cold. That's nice. It that actually feels good for my ankle. Oh, we should have packed so up the beer. This like feels good for our muscles too. Like, you guys, you stuff I 
something more like racking. You ever go on racking? Like just get a blow up rack that you put your butt in. You just go down the river and you yeah, get a Yeah, like there's some we river float system. Float, yeah. Float, yeah. It's yeah. a big, there's a whole industry about it. Yeah. The Ozark Scenic National Riverway. Yeah. It's like all, it's all over southern Missouri. In Missouri? It's and there's lots of stuff. Right. A rafting company. And you get a raft for your cooler. And then you tie everyone together. We're all just in the yard. My shoes drying out. My tent is right over here. I fit it right in. And then there's Chap. And then there's Whitney. Uh, so we've got some toilets, mountains, camping. Maybe some water over there, which I'm gonna get. Is Kungsleden in Sweden? Sweden, yeah. 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 Did that in 19. One. Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. I was watching somebody. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, what did maybe it it's just one? maybe it's the way they did the video. And yeah. I was like, this is one I don't want to do, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice. yeah. What do you like about it? Mm, I really, uh, first of all, it's like my first like bigger hike. It's like 300 miles or something. And you're really out in the wilderness, which is cool. It's like one of my first longer ones. And then there's, I really like that you have like five water crossings. So you like go by boat, like rowing. Or oh, sometimes uh, you pay to get a water crossing, but sometimes you gotta row. Oh, that's cool. So that's kind of fun. The first... Just act normal! <laughs> <laughs> so hard to do. <laughs> it's okay, you can just do whatever. Act normal! Hold on. Actually, give me a Sour Patch Kit and I'll chase it with that. <laughs> We're chasing. She's so demanding. <laughs> yeah, just, just do that. Anybody else want sure. to chase? Yeah, sure. Let's let's do it. <laughs> let's do that. Are you gonna tell the camera what we're doing? You can talk. <laughs> All right. So we are at 26 miles, and the PCT is 2,650. So this is considered the one percent of the trail. So to celebrate, while we were at the malt shop, we all got some Fireball. Um, actually, Whitney, I think, was mo mostly in responsible <laughs> She's the one for getting that them. I chose it. Great provider. She chose it and uh, <laughs> made me carry her, her, her one <laughs> ounce. All right. Are we going to, you going to make a toast? To 1%. To 1%. 1%. <laughs> 99 to go. Make sure you're 99 to go. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, good. This after even better. <laughs> now we just Hurry, gonna do one. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It feels so good. I know. It does. You know what? It's kind of warms you up, you know. You're sitting here cold and the. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I have a one pack of hot chocolate. Now I wish I had another one. Of these. Oh my gosh, we gotta put it in there. That would've been so good with hot chocolate. Well, and you forgot. You love hot chocolate. I got I got plenty of chocolate powder interview tonight and this is who you saw earlier and actually you saw her in day zero yelling about the tea bags in the background uh, this is Whitney all right so that's it for this evening uh, there is a little bit of commotion when it comes to what to do for the next few days because there's a big storm coming temperatures in the 20s wind chill 10 degrees winds of 40 mile uh, gusts i don't know but apparently it's bad we did get a room for friday but everything is starting thursday night today is wednesday so we're we're wondering if we can just get to mount laguna and find some other place for thursday night and then just stay in the other place on friday so Lots of commotion there, lots of talking, lots of discussing with all these other hikers. Um, I'll do one more pan of all the tents that are here 
and then that should be it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed see you tomorrow Um, I'm here to tell you that once you start smelling, they start smelling.